Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Pippo. I am Pippo Jedi as as you can see by the version number of the game above my head, patch 1 is out today. So the two big questions are what about bugs and what about performance? Uh, for the bug side of the issue, well, the developers in the patch notes have said they have resolved uh, many issues, but many are still to be resolved. So this will need some more time to be played out and to assess what the situation is now. But on the performance side, is it not so hard? So let's see if there are improvements in that era or not. Uh, spoiler ahead, yes, a little, a little improvements uh, with my uh, PC and so let's dive in into the game and see what it's changed and what has not. And here we are in the VAB, but before loading vessels, uh, let's remind everyone of my PC specs. I have a NVIDIA RTX 2070, so I'd say that is a middle low graphic card for nowadays standard, it's not a new series or anything like that, but still a pretty good one uh, after all. So uh, this for uh, early access standard should be a medium settings PC, but I will play it on lowest setting to see how the game performs uh, at that level. Okay, so let's load up uh, a rocket, a basic one from the stock uh, a game that we have and let's uh, launch it. So I've loaded the basic uh, rocket that uh, that comes in stock. Uh, so it is nothing fancy. Everybody has it if uh, the uh, option is selected at the start. So just launch it and we see how it goes. I will use the uh, Steam in-game uh, FPS uh, numbers while we play. At the moment in the VAB we have, uh, yeah, uh, 65 70 frames for uh, per second which is uh, yeah not so good uh, but also not so bad and here we are on the launch pad at the moment lowest settings uh, and we have now 30 se frame per second which is not a high number of course but 30 seconds I consider a game okay playable not uh, nothing fancy okay but if we move around well it starts going a little down da now we have 25 if I zoom out bring in the landscape a little more we go down to uh, 20 yeah so that's not really good but it is a little better, as I uh, recall in my first video, you can go check and uh, make uh, a comparison on what is happening, and now it's back on 30. So let's launch the vehicle and see how this rocket goes and how the frame rates goes. And here we are. and launch here we go so now we have 22 frame per seconds if i pan a little around it drops to 17 18 which is not really good uh, maybe you can see in the footage how it goes we have a little clouds and when we go up we see the first stars come out we have 30 frames per second okay so and if we, we get the mountains in the screen it drops to 15 so that's not very good but at the same time we have also uh, a little improvement I think 
I remember my first video and first uh, tries on this side of the game that we had a little less frame per second. I got to 10, 12, which, okay, is not that much worse that 15, 16 second, frame per second that we have now, but, well, five frame per second more I think is a little improvement and it is noticeable uh, in my uh, personal opinion of course and if we go a little looking at the sky we skyrocket to 50 frames per second so if you have seen the uh, uh, post on the Kerbal Space Program 2 forums of the graphic leader uh, developer uh, you have seen that they have said the main issue is the terrain renderer. So it eats, it eats up everything at the moment and they have planned not to just improve it. Yes, they will do some minor adjustment, I think, but they have uh, already started to develop uh, a new system for the terrain renderer and everything about terrain so we should expect a huge improvement when that side of the game is taken care of yes and yes well you see the uh for the performance is a little improved in my opinion and there are all others little uh, improvements there for example now the uh, maneuver points are a little well more easy to use the graphic uh, that they used I didn't really like well it was nice but not so uh, usable and one another little thing is now we can right click on labels and they stay up if we go to maneuver node so we can s see how much the periapsis is uh, going up and that is uh, very very convenient another thing that i will show you in a moment it's as we uh, go circularize a bit is that now as you maybe have read on the forums we have now trajectories in the uh, sphere of influence of bodies that we enter to and that's a huge uh, thing that was missing uh, one could not uh, properly uh, know what was happening there now it is finally there i'll show you in a moment another thing that is not there anymore the bug about separating things it seems now to be working good and the graphic effects are still uh, uh, amazing as artistically <laughs> so to speak you can see everything that is there is very very nice but we, we we need a little more improvement on the performance side so i have circularized our uh, orbit and if you now create a new node maneuver node and you get set target to the moon you can see now we get to the intercept point and now we see you can see here on the on the sphere of influence of of the moon the entry point the exit point and all the trajectory of our vessel so that is very important and we can right click now here and we see on the periapsis uh, the uh, altitude of our periapsis in the sphere of influence of the moon but that was also there that was there before but now we can see 
how the trajectory is because of course it is important to know that so that is uh, one huge thing that was missing before and now we have it so all is going uh, good in my opinion on that side so let's wrap it up for this uh, little video about centered about on performance as we uh, can see now i have uh, 30 frames per second uh, i am uh, somewhat above the um, planet now above carbon when i re i'm repeat the stage of the game now when you go see and watch at and look at the, at the planet we i have now uh, 17 18 frames per seconds otherwise it's all pretty good we have now 50 and 70 uh, frame per second so that's good of course our vessel is not a big one at the moment everything is turned off so there is no uh, cpu load on the system but okay i think in my opinion the uh, developers are showing us that they care ab about the game truly and that they know what their the issues are they are not sweeping it uh, them uh, under the rug so to say so, so to speak and i think that uh, given enough time and support they will deliver us the game that we have promised that we are bought so if you are a fan i suggest yeah buy the game buying the game is a good option if you are not already a fan if you are not already bought the game and you are con you are not so interested in following all the early access well you can wait a little for, for the game to improve that's the point of early access maybe when colonies will be deployed in the early access there will be the fun i guess uh, i hope so that is all for today and so let's say that that okay maybe the force be with you to live long and prosper ciao ciao